all right welcome back to let's help you grow because i'm here to help you grow today's video is going to be about ways to become a better rapper <clears throat> better rapper better singer better entertainer better musician whatever you want to call it <laughs> whatever you want to call yourself it doesn't matter first thing i'll say is memorize your lyrics it's very important to memorize your lyrics the reason why I say it's important to memorize your lyrics is because when you're getting ready to record, you can deliver your lyrics better. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a difference between a songwriter and an artist. Sometimes some songwriters, they can't deliver it really good and they don't have that artist image. So it's a lot that goes with it besides them can't deliver it. But that's the main thing. They can't perform. You know what I'm saying? They can't perform. That's like an actor writing a book or writing something. And to tell the story, they can't do it themselves because they don't have good acting skills. So you have to make sure you memorize your lyrics. So a good thing about it is what you can do is you can just write down your lyrics, repeat it to yourself over and over. You know what I'm saying? until you rememorize it a good a good way to do that is just play the beat rap over the beat with the lyrics and then eventually you're going to remember it because i know it took me some practice over the years where i'll just i'll have the beat on i have lyrics that's already written these days i don't really write like that i write every now and then i still write but i freestyle more than anything because these days i freestyle i go back i still write down my lyrics though like after i freestyle i go back and write it down because some stuff I'll be messing up. So I go back and correct it, basically. Um, learn to deliver with emotion. Now, that's something that some artists have difficulty doing in their deliverance. Like, you have to make it believable, bro, basically. You have to make it believable. So not to judge or anything like that, I'm not coming at y'all like that. That's not this type of video. I really don't care. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Not like that. I do care about y'all succeeding and getting this. You feel me? Because I'm here to help you grow. But what I'm trying to say is, say if you're trying to make a let me see an example, a sad song, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna make a song about being sad, about something that made you sad or something like that, you're not gonna hop on a beat, sound at all angry. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not an it's not supposed to be an angry song. How like okay, you know Juice World, right? Some of y'all know Juice World. Well, all y'all should know Juice World. Come on now. Most of his songs are sad. You feel what I'm saying? Not all of them, but most of them are sad. It's you know, it's about the emotion. You have to put the emotion to the beat. So like when you're thinking about something that makes you sad, you have to think about something that makes you sad, and then you jump right into character. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I know um, I have I have some songs where I when I record because I go based off my feeling, like that feeling that I have that at a time or what's going on. Cause I, I write basically off what's going on in my life. So any music that I drop is gonna be something that's going on in my life. You feel me? Cause I know I created a um, song about heartbreak. I experienced heartbreak like once. <laughs> you feel me? Not that much, but I experienced it, and of course it doesn't feel good. So I tapped into that character. And then there you go. I'm not gonna lie, this is a sidebar. This has nothing to do with it, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, when you, it's, it's kind of addicting because it's like, ugh, I don't want to go through this, but it does make me help make good, good music. Because I'll be listening to some, some of my music sometimes, but I'll be like, dang. Like, even though it was effed up of what happened, situation, but like, it gave me a good song to make. Like, at least it came out to a good song, not saying, uh, I want to go through this, this that stuff like that now another thing is you need to find your zone before you record so you need to be in the right mind when you get ready to record so you need to get comfortable you need to be confident you know what I'm saying I don't know what y'all do when y'all get ready to record I don't know what y'all do but I know sometimes with me is I'll just come in here I turn on the beat like I said, I go based off of my mood at that time. Sometimes I would not record. I record pretty often, but 
sometimes I will miss a day or something like that because it's like I'm not in the mood. Um, I, I definitely prefer artists to not force anything. Do not force anything. Don't force it. Because when you try to force it, it's going to run away from you. Literally. It's going to run away from you. So, like, you know, if you're a guy like me, if you chase a female, she's going to run away. Like, she's not going to come towards you. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't chase it. You have to just let it come. You feel me? That's just life, period. You can't really chase. I know how we be like, oh, I'm chasing a dream. Yeah, I'm chasing a dream, but I'm not chasing a dream. You feel what I'm saying? I'm doing a dream. I'm making it into reality. I'm letting it come to me while I'm taking action. But I'm not, oh, oh I got to blow up right now. I got to blow up right now. Like, no, I'm not being like that because I know that's it's called resistance. That's a deeper subject. But if you understand what I'm, if you're reading between the lines, it's resistant. It's resistant. It's, it's like you're, as much as you try to move forward to it, it's going to move back. So you have to balance it. You feel what I'm saying? So just make sure you get in that zone, man. Don't get mad. Just know as soon as you in that vibe, you will figure it out. Like you will figure it out. You will figure it out how to do it. It's just simple, simple as that. Also, when you recording, when you get ready to record, um, don't record on an empty stomach. At least I don't. Don't record on an empty stomach, man. Because it's you being, because you're going to be thinking about being home.